Over here, the task is to find the perimeter of this trapezoid. And we're given 50 meters, 120 meters, 80 meters, this is 90 meters. But to find the perimeter, I need to also know this and this and this, so that I can add all those side lengths together. Now this here is easy, it's of course 120 meters. But what about this here? Well, we have a right triangle here. So let's, let me call this x and this one y. And over here we have a right triangle too. So we just apply the Pythagorean theorem to this triangle and to this triangle to find x and y. Let's first do x. x is the hypotenuse. And I have the legs of this triangle, the two sides that are at the right angle, 50 meters and 90 meters. So in the Pythagorean theorem, I have 50 meters squared plus 90 meters squared equals my hypotenuse squared, x squared. And so we get 2,500 plus 8,100 equals x squared. And so we have 10,600 equals x squared. And x is therefore the square root of that, which is approximately 102.96. Okay? This one here. And then y, for y we again use the Pythagorean theorem here the legs, the two sides of the triangle that are at the right angle are 90 and 80 meters. So we get 90 squared plus 80 squared equals the hypotenuse squared, y squared. And so here you would have 8,100 and 6,400 equals your y squared. And here we get 14,500 equals y squared. And then y is the square root of that. And that is approximately 120.42. Okay, well, we're not yet done. After you have solved those, those were, all, those were only the intermediate steps. And now the perimeter. Perimeter. You add all those side lengths. There's 50 and 120 and 80. So that makes 250 right there. Then your x and y and 120, right? So we have about 103 meters as x, y was about 120 meters, and then over here 120 meters this top. And so then we get 593 meters. Okay, we're all done with this lesson. I hope it was helpful.